Hi guys and welcome to Airability, your regular dose of lead therapy. And I'm a little more perky than usual this morning because I had a fantastic day yesterday at the British Shooting Show. Several members of the Airability Posse came along with me and we had a walk around the show and we looked at everything and we had a fantastic day. I would like to say thank you to all the vendors who took their time to explain things to us and also those fantastic Airability group members and subscribers who came up to me and had a chat about the channel and what I was doing. I was very happy to do that and it's good to know that there are people out there who actually like what I've got to say from my shed. So again, thank you very much. It was very nice to meet all of you yesterday. Today we're going to talk about barrel cleaning. Now, if you ask 100 air gunners how you clean the barrel, you'll probably get 200 answers because everybody does it differently. I'm just going to talk about how and why I do it and hopefully, you know, there might be something in here that might be of use to some of you guys out there. The main reasons you clean your barrel are twofold. One, when you get a new gun, you need to make sure that all the packing grease and stuff that they put in the barrel to keep it in tip top condition during transit and storage is removed and this is what I will call a deep clean and it does take a lot of time. Then there are more maintenance cleans um, that, that follow and what they are is usually the gun's accuracy starts to deteriorate and um, requires a barrel cleaning to maintain accuracy. So that is usually the trigger point of when you clean your barrel. What I will say is air guns don't need cleaning half as much on the whole as firearms because we have none of the chemicals being blasted down the barrel. It's just air and lead. So today, because I've already used this gun thousands of times, I'm going to be showing you how I do one of my maintenance cleans of the barrel. And the first thing I'd like to say is you don't need very much equipment. You need some gun cleaning spray, you need a pull through, you need some cleaning tabs and you need some felt pellets. And I'll take you through how I go about cleaning my barrel. What I also will say is once you buy some of this um, gun cleaner, I've had this tiny bottle for years. It just never seems to run out because you need such tiny amounts. I'm going to set up the camera at a different angle so you can see what I'm doing and hopefully it'll be clear enough for you to follow up. So what I'm going to do is show you how I go about cleaning the barrel. I'll speed some bits up when they get a bit boring and otherwise I'll mutter on and explain what I'm doing. So first of all, on a rifle where the silencer can be removed, I remove the silencer and this is twofold really. Um, it means that you don't have to pass the string through the silencer and catch all the baffles. But if your silencer won't remove, you can put a drinking straw up here so the inside of the silencer becomes smooth and you can pass your pull through smoothly through your silencer. This also works if you have an internal air stripper in your shroud. So first of all, I take it off because you wouldn't believe how dirty the actual end of the barrel can be with lead deposits. So I actually give that a wipe to start off just to make sure things are clean. Now we're going to st we have to cock this gun to um, pass the um, pull through through because I need the bolt far enough back to receive the um, weight on the pull through. So also a couple of things I need to mention. We're going to be using gun cleaner and we don't want this to get into the internal workings of the gun. So we use it very sparingly. Now the, the air port is here and exposed on an anschutz. So when I pass the um, tabs through the barrel, I don't, it's squeezing out gallons and gallons of um, gun cleaner and it dropping down the port. I know how much to put on. If you don't know how much to put on, I would advise putting a little bit of tape or tissue over this hole to stop any any of the gun cleaner dribbling into 
the um, workings of the gun. Now, this is probably the bit we're going to have to speed up. Through the barrel. If I wasn't on camera, I would normally have the gun tipped up like this and the weight of the brass piece at the end of the pull through would drag the string through a lot quicker. Now, when you're using these tabs to clean your barrel, you usually, the recommended, these are the Napier tabs, the recommended amount is two tabs for a 177 barrel to get the correct pressure as you pull it through and three tabs for a 22 barrel. Um, that's because 22 barrel's bigger and you need, you need the pressure of the extra tab to push into the sides of the barrel to clean it. Now on a pull through you double the tabs up like this and there's a little protector, there's a little, sorry, lock there that stops the tabs coming out of the um, string. Then we just get the cleaner here and we just put, look how sparingly I'm being with this. We don't want, we don't want buckets of it. So there we go. Now what I do here is I pull it right up to the um, barrel like this. I put my finger over. It's a bit difficult doing it on camera. I put my finger over the part there as I did it but no none of the cleaner dropped out anyway because I put the right amount on and then I pull the string through the barrel hence the name pull through with the um, tabs on and there we go. So I haven't cleaned that for about um, three months and I'm coming up to a tournament now so I thought I'd try and get the gun as accurately as accurate as possible by cleaning the barrel several weeks before I go to my tournament so the um, barrel can bed back in and what do I mean by bedding back in? Well a barrel has loads of microscopic imperfections in it and when you um, clean a barrel you remove all the lead that's lined the barrel as well as the dirt and you expose all those micro imperfections in the barrel. After you've shot a few pellets through it again after cleaning those imperfections are smoothed over and the accuracy of your barrel is regained again. Um, some guns take one or two um, pellets, some guns take 20 or 30 pellets to regain their accuracy depending on the gun. So that's why I would never clean my barrel directly before a competition without adequate time to make sure it's leaded in. So we're on to the second tab now and I am going to just give it a couple of toots there, a couple of toots there with the Napier um, gun cleaner. Oh. Do you know for a little fella that's quite a pull. So, as you can see here, we're just on the second tab and there's a lot of difference in how much stuff's coming through the second tab. Now, sometimes when it's quite clean like that, I use the tabs twice to save a bit of money because I'm, I'm, I'm very tight. So, I actually turn them the other way around so the clean side is touching touching the barrel there we go it's through it's only a 42 centimeter barrel so it's that, not that much of a hardship feeding the um, pull through through there we go and to be honest that's pretty spotless now so it shows that my barrel was my barrel was quite clean I do find because I lubricate my pellets my barrel stays clean for longer now we're at the point now where I've cleaned the barrel there's some still some cleaning fluid coating the um, sides of the barrel I usually let that sit a little while uh, and do its job I then put my silencer back on 
very difficult when you're not um, when you're not at the right angle. And then I then I put a cleaning pellet in to um, what I'm doing now is just cleaning out the residue of the gun cleaner, and I use a, a kitchen roll to catch the cleaning pellets so they don't go flying all over the shed. I must admit um, I have got wrong a few times when I've used the odd toilet roll and Mrs G has found a cleaning pellet in the toilet roll at a later date when used. But anyway, that's by the by. So We've just cleaned a uh, uh, we've just cleaned a barrel here with vi with minimal equipment. We've got some good results, a nice clean barrel. Um, so there's kind of like maintenance on top of the maintenance. A very wise man who was a um, a servicing agent for a leading manufacturer told me that all you really need to do to keep your barrel ticking over in between these. Um, intermittent cleans a couple of times a year is when you go to put your barrel away your gun away shoot two felt pellets through through your gun before you put your gun in the case and that's what I do and to be honest with that regime I can usually get away with three four months in between barrel cleanings it was well before probably October the last time I cleaned this barrel I haven't had any accuracy diminishing at the moment but I was just about to come into the bench rest season, so I thought I would preempt any issues and clean it a month before the first competition and get things rolling. Right then guys, I hope that was of help. Um, if you've got any questions about this or anything else about the, the stuff I do, please join the Airability Facebook group and also look at a few of my other videos that I handle a load of subjects about air gunning, everything from pellet prep to bench rest. Until next time guys, remember, keep living that air gun dream and take care. Bye bye.